Good evening, my friend Atzmon. Good evening, good evening. We How are you, my friend? I'm fine. We haven't spoken for quite a while. I'm so We glad to see you people. tonight. So here I am. Uh, what, what would we uh, be talking about tonight? What do you think about passion? Wow. Uh, passion. Well, passion... They say that money makes the world go around, as, as, the, as the song there goes. But maybe passion makes the world go around. We'll have to think about it. Why do you think a man needs passion in his life? Well, first of all, if uh, we did need passion, uh, It wouldn't have been invented probably. <laughs> so, <laughs> the fact that we are passionate, uh, I mean, it wasn't something that was uh, developed. It's something that we are probably born with, like other uh, specifications we have. And passion is one of the uh, things that we uh, have in us. And it makes uh, us uh, do things which maybe we wouldn't have done otherwise. They say that uh, any project, any invention, any new thing needs a crazy person. When they say, when I say uh, I'm crazy about it, it's not that I'm a lunatic. It means that I have a great passion of doing it and uh, uh, a project cannot rise and cannot come into life unless somebody is very passionate uh, of doing it that's how I feel so um, if you ask why do we need passion we need passion for things to happen without passion many things you Many projects, many inventions uh, wouldn't have happened probably. But what I'm trying to find out is where does crave or ambitious come from? Uh, ambition is something else. Ambition is the desire to... And Achieve passion some. is not? Passion is not, so it's not only ambition. Passion is being like, being crazy. As I said, the word is, you have to be crazy about it. You not only want to do something or achieve something, but you are geared up in such a way that it is, inspires you you are overwhelmed by an idea by something you want to do and and you dive into it and it it possesses you in a way you are possessed in a passion that makes you reach or achieve the goal. Or your vision or your dream or your desire it's not enough to be ambitious it's also the drive the drive that derives from your from your passion do you consider passion influence your hobbies or the other way around do I think I didn't get your question do you think that you Your hobbies is influences by your passion to things or the other way around well hobbies is something uh, hobbies is something else hobbies are is, is something that uh, you show interest in something and you gradually uh, 
get into it, get into it, and you show interest in it, and you develop it. But uh, hobbies do not get you to to achieve something uh, which is, I mean, it's a hobby. Hobby is not something professional. In order to to uh, to get to to greater achievements, it cannot remain a hobby. Hobby is more a leisurely thing. Yes, it's not a, a big idea. I'm talking about big ideas, not about a hobby, which is a little thing that you do in your spare time and uh, it fills you up with with satisfaction and with joy but we are talking about wow things things that that really mean a change in something making something bigger than it was making something outstanding a hobby is something different. Of course, you can be very passionate. I mean, you can be passionate about a hobby you have, like uh, drawing. But there is there is a stage where a hobby either it's kept on low fire on a low key, and it's just a hobby. And if the hobby uh, wants to go uh, one, two, three steps forward, then it it has to become something different than a mere hobby if you if you know what i mean of course but i try to find out what is the core what is the region the core of, of, of first of all you have to be a passionate person you have to believe in yourself and you have to 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 uh, uh to come up with an idea, with a project, with something that is of interest to you, and you have a feeling it might influence other people. And when you have such an idea, you have to be this kind of person that is taken by his passion, that the transformation of the idea of the project, there is a sort of a transformation that that uh, pulls you from uh, crystallizing a certain idea and then you get the drive. The passion is a, is a tremendous drive to get there. And it, it, you are bewitched. You are bewitched. A passion is, is a state in which you are bewitched by and, and then it is bigger than you the idea becomes bigger than you and in order to maintain this bigger than you thing thing you have to be passionate and it it overtakes you and sometimes you become an employee so to speak of your passion you are no longer independent you are bewitched by this passion and you work and this passion drives you to do things that you wouldn't have believed you were able to do. But it's like a race, isn't it? To chase, after, race? To chase after your dream, to try to achieve. Well, we have many chases, yes. We chase. But the, a chase... A chase is something else. When you're in a chase, so you are chasing uh, after something. I don't know the etymology uh, of, of words, but I describe to you uh, what I think passion is. Passion is a big force mm -hmm. that, uh, that takes you, bewitches you, and... 24 hours a day and you are sometimes uh, subdued mm -hmm. with this great force you are no longer you 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 uh, 
the decisions you take, uh, the decisions you you take are um, under this big umbrella of something of passion. You cannot describe the feeling, but uh, when when you act under a, a passionate state of mind. Yes, you do decide things uh, for yourself, but this is a very big force that moves you forward. You're not only racing, you are being pushed to race by this passion. You understand? It's, it's a vector, it's a, it's a force that keeps pushing you forward towards achieving your, your goal or your dream. But what are the driving forces behind it? The driving forces are the desire to, uh, to achieve something. It can be something big or small. I don't know. It's not only passion does not only exist with big ideas. It can uh, we can uh, confer, uh, we can uh, um, talk of, of passion in, in uh, things that are not so big. But uh, what what is behind this force? The human nature. We were probably built in this way. Uh, not everyone, but some people are born or are brought up in a certain uh, way that uh, they are very passionate. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, something within the person. You have to be a certain kind of person to be uh, passionate. And I'm not talking about a romantic passion. I'm talking about this drive. It's a drive that are not everyone possesses. It's a drive that is, is uh, a drive that not, not everyone has, but some people do. And some people to a greater extent, there are levels of passion, but those who are very passionate can, <laughs> can become crazy. You know, it's a very big force that if you are not able to control uh, to a certain extent, mm -hmm. then it can, it can overcome you. You can lose your mind. That leads me to my next question. What's happened after you achieve your goals? Well... How you handle, I mean, how do you handle the down that comes after the high not necessarily a down if you achieve your goal you can enjoy your achievement and uh, and the fruit it bears and uh, and you can sit down and relax for a while and enjoy the fact that you have achieved and all the influence it has etc etc but many people who have this uh, passionate state of mind or build up, when they achieve a goal, they uh, immediately or not a long time after, they look for, for the second uh, and the third uh, achievement. Yes, I, I we, think it's a know, problem. We know of many cases that people are not satisfied with the with I mean they're happy that they reach the top it's like a mountain climbers mm -hmm. they reach one peak okay we achieved 5,000 meters now they're looking for for a, a higher a peak and then etc etc until they climb uh, the highest mountain and what then we talked about dreams and hope and things. Mm -hmm. So I can distinguish between my dreams and desires and between uh, 
being realistic and knowing how far I can get. But the small things I did, and I did many things in my life, uh, I did very passionately. Like writing, I write with passion, yes. Traveling. Hmm? Traveling. Well, I wasn't until I met you, I wasn't so passionate about traveling, I must say. But you you set the fire, undoubtedly. Mm. So the question is, when we get older... Uh-huh. Yes. Our passion may change over time? Or it's something you're born with? I think passion uh, nests in you uh, uh, all, all along your life. It's a state of mind. It And, is? Uh, hmm? It's a state of mind? It's a state of mind, yes. It's a state of mind. It's a combination of a state of mind, a state of... I, I don't know how a psychologist would, would determine a passion. But yes, it is a state of mind. And you know, along a person's lifetime, mm-hmm. some, some, some things in his... Uh, the way he looks at life, Uh, can change it's not a permanent uh, thing uh, who you are changes along your lifetime uh, you have different priorities so passion can also wear different costumes yes it can be stronger at a certain stage of your life it can uh, be uh, get low but But if something is interesting enough for you, like I started drawing at, uh, at the age of 65. Mm-hmm. And I did it because one day I had a passion. I, out of nowhere, I felt that I wanted to start drawing, painting. I never painted before. As a matter of fact, I was a very, I mean, in my elementary school, I was one of the worst. We had the drawing lessons and the, the, the teacher used to say to me, well, you are so good at so many subjects. Drawing is not your field, it's not your specialty. Mm-hmm. And one day I woke up with a passion to start painting. Where it came from, Why it happened, how did it come about? I have no logical explanation. And in one in a split of a second, I went and bought colors and brushes and canvas and started painting and I haven't stopped since then. And I've painted in in a very few years, I painted hundreds of paintings. All this was from my passion that, uh, that was born at a very uh, uh, late stage in my life. So uh, here is an example. And uh, without passion, it would never have, uh, would never have happened. And you never study how to paint professionally? No, no, no. But you always like art, don't you? I collected art for many for years. many years. Since my 20s. So your passion starts there. This is something else. The love of art. The roots. The love of painting. Of the love the of love paintings. Of, the, the love of paintings. Of, yes. of watching art. Mm-hmm. Is something else than the, the desire. This to, sparks to, your uh, insights. To, To start it drawing. Probably, it probably uh, nourished my uh, desire for many years. And then uh, you asked if I studied. No. But I think that I got some ideas from 
watching the paintings I uh, purchased along the years. I studied the technique, I uh, looked at different uh, kinds of paintings, and it gave me many ideas. But officially, I mean, going to school or studying uh, in an institution, no, I didn't do that. Do you have anything interesting to close the interview with? Uh, I think a passion is a very important and strong uh, driving force. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it changes our world for better and for worse. I mean, we were talking about only the positive aspects of being passionate. Mm-hmm. But uh, obviously, passion can uh, take different forms. And uh, for instance, for instance, uh, I have passion to, 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 to destroy the world, a passion to uh, it's also a passion, a passion to do things which are on the negative side of the, of the uh, planet. Yes, not every passion is, uh, is immediately I mean, when you say passion, it sounds it's positive. Not, it's not to be taken for granted to be a passion for something good. Mm -hmm. It can be also a passion for something bad. And this we have to, and it's not less driving force. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you talk about passion, it's very nice that people have passion and it develops and does all these good things for the universe. But we should remember that the same drive called passion can take a negative route. So, uh, yes, this is, was a very important uh, point to make uh, to close our conversation, unfortunately. Until the next time. Thank okay. you very much, my friend. Yes. It was interesting insight in our conversation. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Take care. Thank you.